Juicy, buttery, smoked, it doesn't get better than this. Today we're doing butter injected smoked turkey breast on the Traeger pellet grill. I've tried spatchcocking turkey, I've tried cutting it in half and smoking it separately, I've tried smoking whole turkey, and every single time I'm always facing the same challenge. I'm trying to get a super tender, juicy turkey breast, and I want it to finish at the right temperature, but I'm trying not to undercook the thigh meat. But the one thing I've learned is that with all the turkeys I've cooked, and I've cooked a lot of them, people really only care about a juicy breast. It's all about that breast. So let's give the people what they want and just focus and perfect the turkey breast and make it as juicy as possible. And that's where I got the idea for this video. Step one, get yourself a turkey. You can buy the turkey breast separately, or you can just buy a whole turkey and cut the breast out like I did here. I just used a deboning knife to cut the breasts off and carefully remove them and cut along. You're just really pulling back the breast meat as you cut down into the meat. Just pull it back and as you meet resistance, you keep on cutting. This is a common butchering technique. For example, when you're cutting something off the back strap of a cow or a pig, cutting the ribs out, cutting the tenderloin out. And once your turkey breasts are fully removed, you're going to want to brine them for about six to eight hours in a solution of one cup of kosher salt to 16 cups of water. That's my standard brine solution. Everything I brine pretty much follows that same recipe. The only reason you wouldn't brine these turkey breasts is if they're already pre-brined. So check the package and make sure they haven't been pre-brined. If they haven't, then it's fair game and you're gonna wanna brine them. Now, as it happens, I just brined the entire turkey before I cut the breasts off. So I'm not gonna brine these breasts separately. Step two, after you brined your turkey breasts, Take them out of the brine solution, rinse them off, pat them down, get that skin as dry as possible because it's gonna help the skin crisp up in the Traeger. Now we're gonna melt down one stick of butter. Yes, you heard me right, an entire stick of butter. This is a butter-injected turkey recipe after all. And going with the grain of the turkey breast, you're going to inject your needle every one inch, inject a little bit of that butter, pull out a little bit, and then inject a little bit more and then pull it all the way out and then move on to the next hole. After you have injected the entire turkey breast, then you wanna take some extra butter, go underneath the skin, pull back the skin and, and just rub some of that butter in the layer between the skin and the meat. That is also going to help the skin crisp up and add some nice flavor. Step three, now we're gonna apply our rub to the turkey breast skin and also underneath. I'm using a homemade rub here. I'm gonna put this recipe in the description section below if you wanna check it out. It has some poultry seasoning, it has some paprika, it has some other ingredients that are really tasty and they really go well with turkey, so check that out. And one important thing to note is that there's no extra added salt in this rub because we've already brined the turkey, so we don't wanna over salt it. So if you are not brining your turkey, make sure you add in about two teaspoons of kosher salt to that recipe in the description section. Now we're gonna go pretty high up and do a nice even coating all across the turkey breast. We just want a light, light coating. We don't wanna to go too heavy with it. We'll get the other side here too. Now we're gonna flip that over. We're gonna get the back side. Get some nice coloring and flavor there. And then I'm gonna flip it over one more time and give this thing another light coat because we messed it up a little bit by flipping it over. And now these turkey breasts are ready to go onto the Traeger. Step four, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your Traeger to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We wanna go pretty high because we wanna crisp up the skin on these turkey breasts and get them nice and crunchy. I'm gonna place them on the Traeger right next to each other, right in the middle, and I'm going to insert two meter probes, one into each breast. These meter probes, for those of you who don't know what they are, are wireless probes. They link up directly to your phone to tell you what the internal temperature is at all times, and also the ambient temperature of the smoker. For the Traeger, it doesn't matter too much because it's got pretty consistent temperature control, but if you're smoking on something like an offset, you might want that ambient temperature. So the meter probes are great because they graph out the temperature journey of the turkey breast as you go. And you can set up custom alerts to tell you exactly the temperature that you wanna take the turkey breast off. In this case, I'm cooking the turkey breast until they reach an internal temperature of 100 and 
55 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally you want to go for 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the turkey breast, but because I'm cooking these at a higher temperature, we're going to get some carryover cooking. So if you take them off at 155, they're going to continue to cook as you rest them and they're going to carry over all the way up to 165 to the perfectly juicy consistency that we're looking for. And that is really the number one secret to getting a super juicy turkey breast is you take them off at around 155 to 160 and you let them rest and carry over cook. That's how you get juicy turkey breast. If you keep cooking it up to 165, 170, then you take it off the Traeger, it's gonna carry over cook almost all the way up to 180 and it's gonna be dry and you're gonna need to dish out that gravy to lubricate that as you eat it because it's gonna be super dry. All right guys, so we cooked this turkey breast for an hour and 20 minutes. It went by super quickly. Just getting it up to 155 and taking it off the pellet grill, let it rest, it came right up to 165. So now we're gonna slice into it and I'm really excited about this. Let's take a slice right through the thickest part of the turkey. Look at that, wow, that's amazing. You can see where the injection marks are? Look at that, that is a juicy turkey breast. Oh my God, that is crazy. Let's take a slice off of this. And we'll see how it tastes. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's good. You saw how big that piece was? I just mowed down on that. It was so juicy. I didn't eat any gravy. It was super succulent. You could taste that butter. That rub really came through. This is the way to do it, guys. You gotta try it out. See you in the next video.